Hey, hey, hey guys. Happy Saturday, day five, December 5th, Saturday. I am getting ready for the day. We've had a very slow morning. I got to do some work. I got to do some stuff around the house. The baby slept in. And I think we're gonna go and get his first haircut. We're just gonna do a scissor cut. He has like hair all over the place. Um, so definitely going to go do that. I'm just gonna share my post to a couple groups. Hey. How's everyone doing? Say hello in the comments. Would love, love, love to say hi. And today, so I already got dressed. I already did my hair. I've just got to put my makeup on, so I just figured I'd jump on really quick. Um, I hope you guys are liking these uh, videos and lives. I decided for the next, you know, for this next 30 days in December just to come on live. As you all know, I am uh, with a company called Pharmacy. It's a beauty and health uh, company uh, that originated overseas in Europe, uh, Turkey to be exact. Uh, they're here in the U.S. now. Uh, they've been here since 2019 and they are a European standard ingredient company, meaning that the ingredients and the beauty products are just a lot cleaner than the products that are here in the U.S. Um, I've been looking to use a lot of clean products in the past, um, but they haven't really been the best price point for me. And when I found pharmacy, I was looking for skincare, uh, but I fell in love with the makeup. I loved all the price points and how affordable it was to have some high-end quality uh, products for, um, you know, some really good prices. Um, I would say like drugstore prices, everyday prices that you would spend normally on what you currently have. Um, so I've been doing um, the uh, opportunity side of it for almost six months now, and I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun. Um, I'm growing a team of men and women. Uh, my team is uh, Team Heart and Glow. We've got a lot of heart, but we glow, and I just love it. Um, and we've just been having like the biggest month yet last month. Um, and the products speak for themselves because if it was not good, it wouldn't be going this well. Um, and everybody that has supported uh, me and anyone on our teams just love the product. So it's been just such a positive, positive experience. Um, so enough about that. Just wanted to throw that in there um, in case you're watching for the first time uh, because I have been posting for like the last four days. Uh, and today I'm going to show you guys about the VFX line. Um, so I shared about the primer on day one. So uh, today I'm gonna use the strobe primer. Uh, and this one is, um, like a white uh, it's more white and creamy the other one is um like a clear this one's uh this way it's more of moisturizing it's gonna kind of give you it's like an illuminating um uh primer so it's gonna leave a little bit more glow as you can see you can kind of see a little bit of shiny and glow uh in your makeup so if you like that like dewy um more of like a dewy look uh, this is the primer for you and this one's only like 13 bucks. So very very good and primer um, It just minimizes your pores keeps your makeup on longer um, You know gets rid of some of those uh, Creases and lines when you put on your foundation. So it really leaves your skin really smooth um, To just put on your foundation. It goes on really smoothly and nice so the foundation today that we're gonna use, it's called VFX Pro. I have two of them, they're like used up. Um, when it comes to full coverage foundation, I'm really loving VFX. Um, this foundation is $24.90, so this one is a higher end uh, foundation in our line. We have foundations ranging from 10 to $24, so very like cost affordable what you would pay out there, uh, what you're probably already using. But the VFX Camera Ready um, Foundation goes on amazing. Um, it is formulated to give you that smooth look, that kind of like smooth look you're looking for when you're taking your selfie. Um, you don't have to really use as many filters. Um, it also helps to diffuse like lighting. You know, when you take pictures, sometimes there may be glare or light or shininess that reflects off of the flash. Uh, this doesn't do that. So I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on. This is uh, number 04. 
we have numbers for all of our shades and I can shade match you. So if you see anything um, during this time that you like and you're not sure what um, shade um, to get, just let me know. Uh, you just have to send a picture of your face and natural lighting and I can help you. So as you can see, my face is really, I have a lot of redness, a lot of freckles, which I love. I, I love myself, my body, my skin. I'm very confident in it. Um, so I usually do a lot of natural like CC creams and um, light to medium coverages. But there are days that I love to just completely dress up and look nice and do something uh, different. So I'm going to kind of try to do half my face. I think I put too much foundation to do half my face. But just take a look at the face. It's going to look a little different. And don't be scared when you put it on. It's going to look all crazy. But once it gets blended in, it's going to look really nice. This one's a little lighter. 04 is more like lighter pink tone. It has a little bit under pink undertone in this one. Because um, I'm pretty light. <laughs> and I'm pink. So I got this one. The other one I usually use is 02. And I believe that is light beige. So I just use a uh, beauty blender. This one's from Real Techniques. It's already um, moist with water. So um, I like it um, to have a little bit of moisture and I wringed out a little bit of water. It just kind of makes it um, dab on a lot easier and spread it. And you don't need a whole lot too. As you can see, it's already going on really, really nice. I really love it. And you can put your foundation on with your hands, fingers, everybody does different brushes. Um, I like brushes too. I, I don't know, I just really like the beauty blenders. What kind of, uh, what technique do you guys put your foundation on? Hands, fingers, how do you do it? Let me know. So I'm gonna try to be fast because I really, my intention is for these videos not to be like super duper long. I really want you guys to see everything. I know you guys have your day to get to, so I really appreciate you guys tuning in. It means a lot to me. And what's nice is everything goes on pretty fast. Look at how amazing it looks already. And granted, I have a light ring because if I didn't have a light ring, it was just the natural, even with just the natural light, you see how like nice it goes on. And all I really do when, anytime I wear this foundation, like no joke, I don't use any filters. Like all I use is light and that's it. Like I love the way this foundation looks when I take pictures and just the full coverage in general, it's just so amazing. So it gets really, um, it's wet, but then it kind of dries. So it does have a little bit of a mattifying um, effect. So I love it. And especially since I'm oily, usually with oily skin combinations, like mattifying is like really good for you. Okay, so always got to get that neck in here. You don't want to have too, too much separate color. And usually when I shade match you, I kind of go off of like neck as well um, to match it because you don't want to be like completely like two different complete shades. Like foundation really should be like to just bring out your natural glow and kind of be uh, as close as possible um, to your skin tone. I mean, in my opinion, I have seen people that like to go like shades darker or lighter. I guess it's just preference really. So I'm done, blend that in. I have a secondary um, mirror because just doing makeup through the phone, it's it's different, <laughs> definitely different. Gotta make sure I get into the creases here. All right, so that's it. That's the VFX uh, foundation, full coverage. Like 98% of my freckles are covered. Um, I have seen people like show examples of like how full of a coverage this is uh, as far as like covering tattoos and blemishes, spots. So this is a very, very good um, foundation. Okay, so next I'm going to do some concealer. Our son was up majority of the night. He has been having like... The doctor says they're night terrors. 
I mean, he's not hungry. We'll offer him bottles or whatever, but he just cries a lot at night and his eyes are still closed. Like you can't console him or anything. Like he gets these crazy like night terrors and it takes a while for him to fall back asleep. So it's just, it's been tough for me and Mike, especially when we're, wor we're working or we got to get up early today. It was the weekend. So luckily it wasn't as bad, but he was crying since like two in the morning today. And then by four, he was like done. We try to put him back to sleep. I know I look funny. And he just was up after four. So Mike, my amazing husband went out to the living room with him and I was able to get like two more hours of sleep. So he was up with him and then of course the baby fell back asleep and he slept until like 11 because we went to bed pretty late so of course he didn't get a lot of sleep so this is the concealer this is our liquid concealer it's nine dollars and ninety cents this one is in true beige i love it Ugh, the lighting is so crazy but um i love it um so with concealer it just really brightens up certain areas especially under eye is mostly used because you know people are tired or you just want to brighten up that area uh you don't have to directly put it under your eye you can put as much as you want wherever you want it to bring out some uh brightness i just kind of blend it in there how's everyone doing today i hope everybody has some fun stuff to do so there's that oh i still see it's not blend well okay so you can see i put the light brighter this doesn't have as the shininess as usually like the, it diffuses the light so it's really good makeup so yeah if i have picture day like with my family i'm definitely doing this or if i'm going to a big event i use the vfx line so i really really love it so it's really going to come together once i put everything but this is the foundation it's a full coverage it's a, a lot more coverage than the CC creams and all of the other foundations that we have. We have another full coverage foundation that I'll share uh, probably sometime this coming week. It's called Stay Matte, and that one's $12, and it does an amazing job as well for $12. Um, but definitely VFX takes it for if you're wanting to use it for just all day use, professional, anything like VFX is really good. I have a lot of clients that say that's very comparable to some of the Mac brands and some of the top brands out there. Personally, I, I have used some of those brands, but not as much. Like I said, I'm, I'm not always like the full coverage girl, but this is good. Like I love this makeup. So now what do I need to do next? Oh yes, my eyebrows, my eyebrows. Hello, hello everyone. So this is a um, mono eyebrow powder. So I have pretty good, you know, darkened shaped eyebrows. I'm due for another wax here shortly. Um, but I just put a little bit of powder on them just to bring out a little color after I put uh, the foundation on. And then that's, that's all I really do. We do have eyebrow mas uh, mascaras, we have pencils, we have pomades. We have it all. That's it. Just bring out a little, little bit. And this one is in rich brown, number two. I bought them, uh, one of the mascaras was like black because I'm like, oh yeah, it's black, but I really just need like a dark brown. That looks a lot better. The black was like super black. Um, so yes. And so next I am going to do, uh, let's do some eyeshadow. So today I'm wearing some pink, so I kind of want to use this fall palette. This was in our Black Friday sale too. This has been out since like October. Uh, and at first I thought it was going to be like super bright colors. Like maybe this is not the palette for me. I don't usually wear bright colors like this, but they go on pretty like you can make them into like neutral colors. I add some brown and it just looks really pretty. Um, so today I think I'm going to use a little bit of the orange and maybe pink tones, but I think I'm going a little orangey just because I'm going with like a, well, let's do like a pink with a brown. Be very pretty. 
and uh, we'll do that. So let me get a little bit of brushes here. So has there been anything that has caught your guys' eyes that I have presented about? Don't be shy. I love to talk about the products. If you guys see something you like, like totally let me know. So I'm going to get a little bit of this here. And honestly, I really just go in with my uh, fingers most of the time with brighter colors. Look at how pretty that is. Beautiful. So I am just going to dab it on there. The pigment is crazy. Like it's really nice. Look at how like beautiful it already looks. Sometimes I like to dab it on and then I blend it in with um, my brushes. So that's pretty. All right, and then I'm gonna put some brown and then I'm really gonna blend it in and it's just gonna look really natural and bright. So you can make it as bright as dark as you want but already my face is coming to life i love it so it's probably as much as i'm going to use for that one and then we have our little uh, pharmacy trio this one's a vice brown so you have different browns in there very pretty i'm going to use this one i'm just going to put it right on the top And I'm just gonna go in with a little brushy here. Just kind of blend it in. And kind of pull a little bit under my eye. That one's pretty, I don't know if it's still online. I'm gonna have to look, but I'm so glad I got it when I did because I've been using it often this fall, so. Anytime they have like a limited time type of thing, uh, I get it right away. But um, Pharmacy just launched three eyeshadow palettes. Like we've had the trios, you know, for a while, but now it's like palettes, like six, 12 to 16 colors. So um, I'll post some of that. I got one of the um, palettes that are coming in. So when it comes in, I will go ahead and um, show it to you guys. So that's it, it's just blending right in. And then I like to use a little bit of the highlighter to put on the top here because you can use these as um, a shadow too. Just like to highlight just a little bit. Just make it have that little pop. And then I'm done. I went really like into it with the uh, So then, I'm gonna put a little too much right here. So now I am going to do um, the cheeks, which is the 301 face palette. This is bronzer, highlighter, and blush. Just go in with a little bit of bronzer. I like to put on my upper cheek. Kind of get the top a little bit. Blend in anything up there that may be creasing or not blending in, you know, the nape of the hair and stuff. So that's all I do with bronzer. Just a little bit. And then um, I think I'm going to go, this is pink, but I kind of want it to be a little softer. We do carry blushes by themselves. We have these. And the thing is, these are really like mini ones. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Oh, can't see it, there we go. So pretty, this one's like a sparkly, like a shimmer. But look at how deep that little, like the palette is. See how like deep it is? Maybe small, but it's deep. And I've had it for a couple months and I've only used so much of it. So you get a lot for the $9.90. So I'm gonna use this one, Pink Lily. I'm just gonna get a little bit here. I'm just gonna dab it. I'm 
And then that's it. And then, oh, no, highlighter, highlighter. I'm not big on highlighter. I haven't before uh, pharmacy, but now I am liking it. So I go in, probably hear Jalen, um, Jalen, um, Alex crying. Mike's amazing. I was like, I'm going to do this for 30 days. Help me. And he is. So that's it. I just kind of put it on the top here in just little places. And then I like to go with a regular powder brush. It's just me, my preference. And I like to kind of just go in and blend everything out a little bit. There's everything. Kind of makes it fit in a little bit better. There we go. Get some. Okay. okay, so that is that. So now I'm just gonna do uh, my eyelashes and my lips, and I'm done so far. Uh, so, yes, I love the three in one palette. Life to my face, love it. So this has been my uh, favorite mascara so far. It is the double one mascara. So there's two wands in one. I'm gonna see them right here. It's crazy, dude. So one is for length and one is for volume. So we're gonna go with length first. I always like to curl my lashes before I put on mascara. And this uh, eyelash curler is from Pharmacy too, but any eyelash curler does it. But I really like how simple it is to put this on or like to curl because it has like really springy. Love it. Oh yeah, and these brushes too are from Pharmacy that I'm using. And all these other ones are Real Technique. I really like Real Technique. I think it picks up uh, powders really well and they're very good on the wallet, very budget friendly, and they do the job. Like they're not cheap like brushes. I mean, they cost good, but they put everything like do what they have to do basically. I don't know what I was trying to say. So this is our lengthening. Uh, thank you, Nina. This is our lengthening um, wand. So this one is really cool. So all of our mascaras are buildable. So you can make your lashes as long as you want them to be. So this is, you're going to get length and, and volume. But we do have, I think we have like eight mascaras. Uh, this one's one of my favorites right now. It's brand new. It came out like two months ago. Um... But we have mascaras for length, volume, curl, or all in one. So depending what you're looking for, I can find you a perfect mascara. But so far I have been like blown away with this one. We have our uh, mascaras range anywhere from $8 to $22. So this one is $22. Um, but we also have a Zen mascara for length that's amazing and that's our $8.90. Uh, mascara and it's amazing as well. I like right when I hit um, the eyelash right away I'm getting length. I don't think the camera does justice. I've tried many times even like just taking photos but as you can see it's starting to see the length building here. All the weird faces we make, right, girls, when we put our makeup on? Especially near the eye. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to try to do one eye for you guys just so you can see, like, the difference. I never recurl in the middle until my eyelashes are actually dry because then I notice that I end up getting uh, the mascara all over my <laughs> eyelids and then uh, my eyeshadow's ruined. Look at that, there's definition and volume. Like I said, it's buildable, so you could let this dry, go in with the eyelash curler and go again, and you can really make the eyelash really stand up. So it is definitely an amazing mascara, I love it. Is. 
you guys can see that. So there you go. I was looking for my, oh, there it is. I like to brush them out a little bit. There you go. You can see the lash is just long, beautiful. I love this mascara. It's amazing. And I have some photos of some of my clients that bought it. Maybe I'll post them. You'll definitely see them in my closed Facebook page. Wow, like their lashes are like, they're not wearing fake lashes. It's their actual lashes. So it's pretty impressive. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other um, eye so you can see. It's crazy to see how makeup comes together, right? Like I start and you guys are probably like, oh dang, she's like messing it up, it looks weird. But then when you're done, it looks amazing, it all comes together. So I'm really excited um, about this month, going into the new year because pharmacy just still has so many more products to, um, launch overseas they have like over 2,000 products they've only launched like I think like 500 or so products here I heard so there's still so much they also still haven't launched a lot of other things like nutrition there's still more hygiene stuff uh, household care stuff um, so they're doing it like little by little so it's been fun because every month it's like something new and something amazing is coming out And they are actually supposed to be coming out with lashes, too. Uh, and I think they have them, but they're trying to get the... And as far as I know, I believe they're glued on lashes. Um, but I don't think they've they've gotten the right formula for the glue yet. I'm not sure. But I believe they were uh, to be coming out in the fall. But it's probably going to be closer to 2021. But I don't know if I'm going to need them because these mascaras are, like, amazing. And I would have to practice a lot, <laughs> right? So, all right. So, that was just lengthening. And now I'm going to do volume. So, it's the other one. Oh, my God. I was watching, like, a makeup video. I think they talk about, like, crime and stuff. I love, like... FBI stuff, crime. I'm like, maybe I should come on and start talking about <laughs> crimes and suspenseful things. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys. If you've been watching this far, I really appreciate your guys' love and support and that you guys are learning about these amazing products that I've been crazy about for the last six months. All right, so eyelashes done. I'm gonna curl these in just a moment. So now I'm gonna do lips. Uh, I don't know what I wanna do. If I wanna lip gloss or if I wanna do the, I'm gonna, probably gonna do both, but let's go ahead and I better not do it through the phone because I'll mess it up. I have a mirror next to me, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, y'all. Ooh, look it. There's always one that cooperates better than the other one, right? Am I right, ladies? Am I right? Just like there's always one eyebrow that looks better. One side, always, always. All right, so there we go. Eyelashes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this is our liquid, uh, our matte liquid lipsticks. I shared them, I think, day two. They're $11.90. Uh, it's a matte, so that means it's going to be like a drying look. Uh, it dries on your lip, and it looks beautiful. This one is pink, uh, mauve pink. Um, I love purple tones. Since I'm wearing pink, I want to do like a purpley uh, pink tone. You can uh, use it with uh, lip liner first, but today I am just going to do this, and then I may coat it with some of our nude um, lip gloss. So this is uh, nude pink, or mauve nude pink mauve pink uh let me see if i can get a little bit of color here for you guys this is what it looks like wet they dry pretty fast so in a bit you'll be able to see it 
it's beautiful. I think this shade really complements a lot of skin tones. I think mauve colors look really good on everyone. Here we go. And I love the slanted tip because you can really work in the lip color. And you don't need a whole lot. Literally, I put some on the bottom and then I just go. And you can see most of it's already up there. Um, so then I just kind of line it. And it's non-transferable, so it'll stay on all day. You can kiss anybody you want, your babies, significant others. It doesn't rub off. And that's it. Uh-oh. Alex is not happy. Just about done, babe. It's getting them ready so we can go get him a haircut. So there we are, guys. This is the look for today. Going out, we're going to get a haircut done. Um, so this was the finished look. I love it. I love the way this foundation looks on camera. Uh, full coverage. It's made for camera um, technology uh, so that the light, you know, it diffuses the light and things like that so your face doesn't come out like super shiny. So it's really awesome. I hardly use filters. Uh, when I use this makeup, just light, just like this, the little light ring that I have, uh, just good lighting and you get an amazing like photo like out of it, like seriously. So this is it. So if you saw anything you liked, let me know. Uh, the link is always on the top of my bio and the homepage. So if you wanna take a look at the catalog and see everything that we carry, of course, makeup is not everything that pharmacy carries, but it's what I've been using lately. So just wanted to share. So I hope you guys have an amazing Saturday and I'll see you guys tomorrow.